Hi, everybody. Welcome to the Nook on the Voluntary, Voluntary Virtues Network. My name is Mike. I'm here with Riley. Yo. John. Britton. The dude. The dude. <laughs> Christy. Kevin. And uh, tonight we're going to talk about the difference uh, between left and right libertarianism. But first, uh, the beer I'm drinking tonight is Lagunitas, which is a local brewery. Uh, of a sort, uh, Northern California, if I remember correctly. That sounds like a oh, Lord of the Rings character. <laughs> it is, actually. Oh, right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, pretty well, much, close enough. Uh, um, what was his cousin. name? Lag uh, Legolas. 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 Legolas, yeah, yeah, close enough. All right, so uh, a, little something, a little something extra. Um, it's a nice little beer that has a, a pretty high gravity to it, so, uh, you know, you'll get in the liquidity of it pretty quickly. High gravity really liquidity? Yeah. It's pretty technical. <laughs> yeah, you'll get into flow a little bit, you know. Stepping mm -hmm. up the game. That's yeah. right. Yeah. So, um, <laughs> all right. So, left and right libertarianism. Uh, what do we know about it? What don't we know about it, Christy? What do you know about right libertarianism? Well, when, let's say. Well, well, right. Well, let's just start. I um. Okay, so. I always believed that libertarianism was libertarianism, that there was no left or right. It was just um, live and let live, um, uh, harm no one, do as you will. I really didn't think there was a left or right. And so when I first saw left libertarianism, I'm like, oh, well, that's kind of cool. Maybe they're a little bit more um, compassionate, you know, mm -hmm. empathetic on people and thought a little bit, you know, um, cared more about social issues um, for them. I went to a meeting and I was totally chastised. They almost, they almost threw me out because I asked questions. And I, so I'm still ignorant. What kind of questions? I just asked, you know, well, well, who I was, how are you going to get to where you wanted to go? Are you going to force people to do stuff? And they were irate that I even asked those questions. Like, how dare you even question, you know. The Spanish Inquisition. Yeah, I, was, yeah, okay, I, don't know, I understand. Just, I, was like, <laughs> I was really kind of, I was taken aback because I was treated so, um, I don't know, viciously. Impolitely. Yeah, yeah, impolitely. And, and then I talked to Gary Chatier and he mm -hmm. said right. that that was not the normal, you know, how left libertarians would normally treat people. But, so he was kind of taken aback. I've, I've kind of been under the impression that this really common for any sort of group that you go to that when you when you go to a meetup or something or you're 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 near the area and go, oh, I'm curious to know what these people are talking about. Uh, our group I think is kind of an exception. We've had some people show up that that don't agree with us at all and we're just still pretty friendly and stuff and stuff like that. But that's um, not very common. A lot of times you go to a group and you'll be like, oh well hey uh, so what do you think about this? What do you think about this? And they'll be like, how why don't you know about this? Why did you come here if you don't know well, about they, this? What are you talking they about? Must you know, have like thought this sort of I thing. was, you know, just trying to badmouth them, and I wasn't. I was really, yeah. literally trying to find out what, who are they? What is this left libertarian? I really didn't think that libertarianism had a left or a right because I just thought it was pretty well. You know, there, how could it even have a left or a right? So, I, mean, I don't human even. Human beings have a left and a right. What does? Human beings. Brain? Yeah, right. Hey. <laughs> so, so let me let me ask a Duality, question, right? Yeah. Since I don't know anything about the difference between left and right, mm -hmm. so th is the difference between left and right, uh, you know, a, s a certain ideology to one way or the other, you know? So oh. What 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 is? Yeah, somebody what is, define can, it. Can please yeah. define and compare a left libertarian and a right libertarian, and then let's think after that see what's a libertarian, a middle of the road libertarian. A moderate liberty. Moderate. <laughs> okay, all right. Um, moderate. So uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give a shot at this. All right, so um, this, this does require, you know, a, a, a cursory bit of knowledge as to, as to um, uh, libertarian philosophy. So I think of right libertarian as being uh, your, your, your reason magazine libertarian. You're, you're okay. The government sucks. They're fucking with the economy. That's really stupid. That's terrible. That's horrible. But these poor corporations, oh my God, these poor <laughs> corporations have to follow all these rules and it's so hard for these corporations to make money. Right. And that's what, and, and so I can kind of consider Reason Magazine and the Cato Institute to be right libertarians. I'm not going to say that they're terrible people and it's horrible and all that, but that's the sort of bent that they have. Whereas my experience with left libertarians 
is that they'll say, and I tend to agree with them, the, you know, in my part because I think it's accurate, is that they'll say that, okay, yes, it's horrible what the government is doing to the economy. That's all terrible. But to sit here and say that, oh, those poor corporations can't possibly do business and no, 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 this and this and that, whereas the accuracy of it, uh, from my point of view, is that, okay, yes, these regulations make corporations harder to, it makes, uh, uh, it's more difficult for corporations to do business, but it makes it a little bit more difficult for them to do business, but who it really makes it difficult for is somebody who's just trying to start business on their own. They have to comply with all the rules, laws, regulations, uh, safety code, health code stuff that these giant, huge corporations that simply write it off as an expense. Whereas your local like bakery that's making cupcakes or something, they have to abide by the exact same rules. But if they violate those rules, they get a $10,000 fine or something if they don't fix it. And they're out of business. Whereas if Walmart or or any other large corporation were to get a similar fine, they go, oh, a ten thousand dollar fine, and they just kind of like you know wipe off the crocodile tear Take and go on about lunch or something. And, it, yeah. it, you know, it's a drop out in the bucket right. for them. Right. So um, when it comes down to it, these larger corporations are the ones writing the rules. They have they have lobbyists that go talk to their local congressman or something and say, hey, can you put in this rule? No, 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 no. It gets passed, it becomes law, and they and, and then they sit there and continue to complain of like, oh, this is so hard on us. But really all it does is just hurt the little guy and stops them from having any competitors. So right. are the, the left libertarians just, is their story more geared towards the small, small business, pers business but, person? Uh, what I, what I, yeah. I'd like to add, I think Mike did a really good job, is that I think that, to be clear, someone who's a right libertarian or left libertarian. You could have minarchist or anarchist. Someone on the left or right spectrum could identify equally as an anarchist or man minarchist. In other words, someone, the Cato Republic, the Cato Libertarian might be just fine with a, uh, you know, uh, going back 150 years in the Constitution, then, you know, they'd be completely happy. Right. A minimal state. Uh, I think that the left libertarian, in, which in this regard I d identify more as, uh, sees how a pure market perspective on it, not to say that they're, they would, many would call themselves a uh, market anarchist like I do myself, but in the execution of a legal system, if you will, uh, they can see how a pure market perspective that doesn't address accumulation of wealth uh, could in and of itself become oppressive. For instance, a co as corporations or someone can accumulate so much wealth. If a system is uh, designed in such a way that it allows someone to accumulate so much wealth, then they themselves can have power to oppress and to limit opportunity. So do you think the, the ability to accumulate wealth is created by government programs? government um, regulate government laws, whatever, uh, is that how the accumulation as an anarchist, is created? As an anarchist, I can only say what I'll say the arguments I have heard made for, for instance, uh, the creation, the, the free market creation of corporations as an example, defending that practice. Uh, that's more like a pure market you know, capitalist type perspective. Whereas I see the corp I see corporations as uh, uh, a way to limit liability. The legal corporation, right. the right. entity corporation, right? right? And I don't Rather think than a that, company. Yeah. Right. So when you can limit liability, yeah. ultimately, yeah. it's not a level right. playing it's, field no, anymore. Corporations yeah. were uh, at one time only to be formed. For projects, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. temporarily, Big, temporarily. they were contracted civil with very bridges, specific limitations yeah. to what they were to do, what yeah. they were to earn, right. yeah. and how long they could stay yeah. a corporation exactly. for. And then they, they could apply for extensions and all. Exactly. That. Yeah. So I mean, and that was before the Civil War amendments, mm. uh, where yeah, before um, corporate uh, 
or you know, yeah, corporate uh, lawyers. After, uh, the, I think it was the Fourteenth Amendment. That, Correct. You know, yeah. 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 That was Civil War Amendment. Uh, yeah, it was after. So it was like around 1870 where okay, they were trying yeah. to push that really hard. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Where no person and corporations are persons. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that, 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 <laughs> right? that that's a very, um, you know, uh, <laughs> with, without, I mean, I, I don't want to talk about it forever because I, th I think there's more more to that aspect of left and right libertarianism. But the, uh, right. the very idea that a piece of paper which has some words written on it is considered a person on the same level as you and I who are or living breathing individuals. Right. And that's a really nutty wild concept. Right. That beforehand like we were saying was for temporary projects and it was really more or less government sponsored sort of stuff going back to like I think the earliest corporation that was legally written down was in Switzerland, and it was for like a, they were drilling uh, wells or something, you know. And and so that that's the earliest representation of that. Mm -hmm. But when it comes to the United States, you know, this is, you know, earlier corporations that would be like, well, okay, this corporation is commissioned to do this bridge. Once this bridge is over with, that's then that corporation sad. is done. Right. But then after the, the Civil War and you have the 14th Amendment saying that this is what a person is, you got some lawyers who got smart and construed that definition of a person right. that was in the 14th Amendment to mean a corporation is a person and the Supreme Court said yes. Yeah. And uh, this no is a... I mean... <laughs> Objectively, you can really look at the the U.S. government at the time as being uh, a uh, a point where there was incredible amounts of corruption. Incredible. I mean, we, we think of today about I like say you know more than now. <laughs> kind of. Yeah. yeah. I mean, well, like kind they of, would wow. like buy a broom and it'd be like fifteen hundred bucks. I mean, and then it just all the money would go right to the. But they had to test the brooms. They had to make sure if it would really sweep up. They had to test fifteen hundred dollars worth of brooms. Yeah, they're just pocketing all this money, dude. But you, you, there, there was a point in, um, in. Outrageous! Look at the fuck. Yeah, so I mean, there was a point in, uh, in the history of the state of California. Uh, I'm just saying this, this, this particularly just because I, I learned about it at one point or another living here, I guess. But where the railroads own the state house, every single representative in the the in Sacramento, with the exception of like you know maybe half a dozen, were paid off and bought for by Union Pacific Railroad. So if the railroad wanted to put a railroad somewhere. Oh, okay, let's just, you know, draw some lines on the map here, kick those people off their farmland, and here you go. You know, I mean, this, this were, these were instances where there were, unfortunately, violence would result because oh, yeah. they knew that their state senators and state assemblymen were bought off. And so when the railroad would come by and say, like, oh, I'm sorry, you got to leave, here's your writ, get off the property, so, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. So this is a, an instance of um, not market, not market left libertarianism, more right libertarianism, no. right? Oh, well, no, it's just confusion. Like, mercantilism, yeah. crony capitalism. Yeah, yeah crony it's the confusion. So I, like, right. I think how I yeah. kind of look at it is that like uh, was a right libertarian who would sponsor, you know, be like, you know, the corporations, you know, mm -hmm. the government's oppressing these corporations. Yeah, but a lot of right libertarians that would be, wouldn't. But, but, so I know, I know, right but now. this is where I'm getting at. Okay. Is that that's more like a confused, in-the-closet fascist. Okay, thinking there you go. that right. Right. Like the yes. government who's yes. getting down on his corp yes. uh, government made corporations you know for the exploitation of you know other people in another economic route other than just you know the military or what have you the language they would use would be more like the market is the best tool to get the service the goods into the hands of the people at the lowest price but yeah. what is the market right what is the market <laughs> what the do you people, mean by that? Yeah. People, <laughs> what they people, not well, corporations. Yeah. yeah. So the the left libertarian, they they protect or they don't they believe in limiting the corporation, but protecting the rights of the in, uh, of the I think, entrepreneur I think they're or the corporate personhood. Yeah, yeah and, they're uh, they're not they're against and private cat, property this, too. Yeah, though. they look at it. Oh, as, uh, yeah, some I of, do. Not all <laughs> 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 
And been like, yo, like, you guys don't believe in, like, private property. They're like, yeah, we do, dude. Like, you're a fucking idiot. Like, we all believe in private property, just not, like, the kind where you can accumulate such right. exploitive, you know, power over others that it becomes a I've s- completely unjust and fucked up situation. I've spoken to some, some who don't call it property, but call it possessions. Yeah. For instance, a toothbrush is a possession. Okay. Right? You know, so... That's a whole other discussion, okay. basically. Right. Yeah. But it's not yeah. like, yeah. There's, it's nuanced, and I don't want to speak for. That does kind of get into like the whole anarcho-communism, or in that, in that don't you know that realm. But certainly, I think that you'd probably speak to some communists, and they'd see themselves as libertarian too. You know, they look at it as a different way. They're organizing in a way that allows maximum freedom, in their view. Uh, you know. There are institutions, whether it be the state, whether it be uh, religious, whatever, agencies and institutions that impose their will on people and disallow or do not empower individuals to access basic needs. So, well, well, but I'm not, I'm not advocating that. I'm simply saying that I'm certain you'd speak to some anarcho-communists who would identify as libertarian as well. Well, the, I don't think it's exclusive. I think you can be a libertarian and still be a communist and believe in communism. It just has to be voluntary. Dude, that's just in my dude, view. It right. can't well, be yeah. forced. So that's where you come yeah. in. Like some of those people look at the state has already created the corporation mm-hmm. and that's already aggressed against the okay. people. Yeah. Right. That's already aggressed against right. people. Therefore, a retaliation is justified, right? So aggressing against uh, the state and its institutions such as corporations is justified. And again, I'm not taking right, that position. Right, 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 right. I'm simply I'm saying, to, I'm I'm simply saying that that's how they can justify the, throwing Molotov yeah. cocktails so, at Walmart or so something. So I got a question. So if if we're living in you know a communist world, man, the, the dude's not going to be sharing his toothbrush. <laughs> <laughs> the dude will I'm not saying. share his toothbrush. <laughs> yeah, right. And the I'm dude gonna, likes I, to make I, his I, own white Russian and I, drink it by himself. I yes, will okay. defend my right to my toothbrush. <laughs> I consider it pro- my property. Possession. possession. You possess my right? property. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, John, you were mentioning that you know that uh, some of the the. Uh, your more uh, libertarian socialists may 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 call themselves the libertarian because of because of their views on Noam uh, Chomsky as an example. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so I I, I think this uh, this is a, 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 I'm paraphrasing. I can't remember the exact quote, but you know it should be accurate enough. Uh, we were talking the other week about uh, agorism. Uh, Samuel Conkin is the guy who coined the term uh, agorism. And he had a very interesting definition of libertarianism, which I always like to, to mention, if I can remember it, is that there is only two definitions of what a libertarian is. One, anyone who calls himself a libertarian... Is a libertarian. Is a libertarian. <laughs> or two, anyone who agrees with absolutely everything I say. Oh, okay. So, I, and, I, and I, I mentioned that because it relates to... To libertarian, the root word being liberty, liber, free, freedom. Uh, you know, what is freedom? And that, that's a larger concept. So, you know, if somebody's saying, like, well, if somebody's simply saying the way the world works now is fucked up, there needs to be some fundamental changes to what we are doing. At that point, I'm kind of willing to say, okay, you're sort of a libertarian. You realize that this whole shit is fucked up. Okay, granted, you're on the right path. Now where are you going to go? Not sure they're libertarian at that point. They're yeah, on the right path. They're on the way. Well, that's what path. I'm saying. Bernie it, Sanders. Yeah. Yeah, they yeah, can propose exactly. a non Yeah, but he's on the world. awakening path. At least he's, he's just kind of veered Well, off Bernie Sanders is kind solution. of more of like, he's really a Republican, really. But the thing is, what does freedom mean if you can just define freedom? To well, yeah, okay, well, th- that's another thing, too, is, okay, well, well, so what do you call freedom? Another whole fucking episode. We'll get to that. We'll, we'll just do a whole 30 minutes on what we call freedom. That's a good one. Hey, everybody write that down. A little notebook. What do we call, what do we define freedom as? That's an episode. But, um, freedom is liberty. Liberty yeah, yeah, liberty is free. Well, so, war is slavery. Let's get this. 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 Let
the, exactly. And that's yeah. important. Yeah. The, the ability yeah. to yeah. choose. So what is the ability to choose? Let's think about Will. that one. It's that Will. Spirit. It's the most important thing. Well, okay. So we have, <laughs> we do have, we have, I, I consider in today's world, we have options, not choices. We have option A, B, maybe C or D and E, but, mm. but we don't have a choice. There's not an alphabet mm. of choices. Well, you know, they, you know, when it comes to, to, to driving and using fossil fuels we and driving a car, I mean, the other choice is to not own one. You know, or get a gyrocopter. And, and push, push, a, push a grocery cart down the street. The other choice. But, but, that, but yeah, but those are options because if we had choices, we would, be air com we would be riding around in solar and air compressed cars, you know. We could find the people who have the minds to create the technology and team up with them, but it's hard. <laughs> it's 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 difficult. hard when you're when you're it's working uh, economic slavery. Exactly, though, that's know? why it's hard. So then, for the most part. I have a question: What's the point of these definitions if it's so difficult to even? Uh, what's the value of defining these words if there's pretty much no consensus on what they are? Wouldn't it be more interesting to well, I think an existential it, exercise? Yeah, I think it's a uh, yeah an exercise. Well, it's trying to establish a point from which we can discuss concepts. Right, you know, it's like, yeah, you have to have somewhere to start a conversation from, right? We're going to discuss these concepts. Yeah, it's an abstract uh, right. of, you know, what people think. So it's just another level of how to talk about uh, how how people think and what they believe in, and and so on. Right, but I guess my point is, it seems like we can't, we don't even really know what. Uh, what other people might be thinking to define themselves as a libertarian. Are you advocating a word police uh, for the formation <laughs> of, a, of a vocabulary or police? Or, or, a, or, a, or, a, or a decision? Or? Well, I guess I'm just, well, this is maybe taking things off to the side, but uh, if if we can't even really define, I mean, I, I'm sitting here, I don't really know what it even is at this point. Right, right, right. And like, I don't well, know, what I guess is? I'm just confused. Okay. Okay. Left and right libertarians. Yeah. So it's yeah, like, okay. Left and right. It's, it, okay. Uh, let me, okay. This is right. perfect. <laughs> okay. So Kevin is not advocating for brown shirt freedom so police. Like Got it. Okay. Yeah. Riley's going to give that. us a definition. <laughs> Go. It's interesting. Okay. Because I was l uh, picking up a book that I got in Portland, um, Prowlers. I mean, pa Powell's. It's awesome. <laughs> awesome bookstore in Portland. Nice. Um, Oregon. But anyway, so it's uh, the the two hands of God. Oddly enough, by Alan Watts, and the whole premise of the book is he's. Uh, have like ten hands. Well, it depends on what so tradition so you come from. Good, you know, good. if you're, you know, Hindu, then you got like the what the twelve. Yeah, right, right. Four, <laughs> is or it Krishna eight? Or I don't know. Or yeah, or Shiva. Sure. But the two hands of God and Judeo-Christian um, take on it, and so basically the whole premise of the book is examining the polarity of you know life, death, good, evil, you know God, Satan, uh, you know what have you, duality, uh, light, dark, exactly, duality, duality, all the different dualities, and uh, yin-yang, and in, in doing so, he's an also analyzing the inherent unity uh, of the two, because I mean, like, again, like, going back to, like, right and left, yin and and human yang. beings, uh, yin, yin-yang, yeah. and so, like, right hand, left hand, and so there's these, like, polarities in everything, polarity is, you know, universal, in all things. And so, because of this, you have these spectrums that are ultimately connected, and that's the libertarian right. spirit in them both, when properly understood. I think we get muddled because of the propaganda, because of the inheritance of what our parents were, and, you know, the way they framed things and defined things and understood things, and, you know, we get kind of, you know, we get programmed with that, and we have to shake off the spell of the state, and, you know, the, the corporate, you know, consumeristic lifestyles that we've been born into and come to this awakening we do so from different angles but we've, we're coming to the same place and uh, so yeah and that's, that's what I was hoping when I went to that meeting is that we were coming from the same place but we weren't talking the same language well, that's the and thing. that's it's why I couldn't communicate with them right. because I didn't know understand their language I really didn't I wanted to but I did understand it yeah, I hear and you. yeah so yeah. I didn't know where the and I think it's more market based is that more it might be even Chante more. I think my, my from what I've seen for, from left libertarians is, is a lot of them, they want, you know, what uh, they call it a resource-based economy or a barter economy. Right. So that they Which really cool. want to get a, get rid of the, the capitalist system. They so want to get right rid of it. So, yeah. But uh, um, they, they don't really have, uh, See, from what I've seen, some sort of cons way to form consensus on how to get people to think that way. 
So they don't have a plan. They, yeah, they just have an idea, and they just want people to adopt the idea, but yeah, no plan to implement it. This is the revolution. Um, is I don't think necessarily there needs to be a plan exactly. either, right? It could, so it could just be people Yeah, right. Who, Movements can you know, be decentralized yeah. Yeah. and uh, morph, if you will, right. or, yeah. or, or grow and, and yeah. whatnot. So what yeah, about the model? Are, you know, some... Uh, well, you're SOL, man. I'm sorry. you got to pick one side or the other. You <laughs> only have one or two choices, man. That's it. One of two choices. I want freedom. <laughs> freedom. That's right. That's right. Dude wants freedom. Dude wants freedom. Yeah. Dude that's wants the, freedom. That's what's common in both. Well, in my view, should be com what I think There's is common in both of, or all of them, moderate, left or right, mm -hmm. should be the uh, uh, adherence to freedom of people being able to live their lives without having to believe in one or the other it's just like uh, hey i don't want to stay out of it. i just want to be free well that's, no, that, that's an important that's an important point so we've got this 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 left and right libertarianism of, of um i think on both angles there is a you're going to have anarchists on both sides uh again i myself i consider myself an anarchist so you've got your your left libertarians on an, on an extreme end calling themselves anarchists. You have right libertarians on an extreme end calling themselves anarchists. Okay, and they all have their 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 view of what an anarchist society is going to look like, and that's all well and good and wonderful. You know that everybody's like thinking about okay, well, so how is this going to work when the state collapses? Because it's going to happen. By the way, you know, let's reiterate <laughs> that point. Happen. It yeah. will happen at some Why? point. <laughs> hopefully, Why? a little okay. bit later on when we're you know more prepared. But it's going to happen. But I think the, the very key point to understand is that nobody knows what an anarchist society is going to look like. And so when people really get caught up on their definitions of this is how this is going to work and this is how this is going to work, you don't know. Well, but you don't it'll, know. It'll be all of the above. You know, it's we'll, well. It could be all. Of it, of, it, of it could all be all of the above. It could not be all of the above. Well, that's what you know, like society could consist of uh, competing, yeah, com yeah, competing yeah, government, yeah. like a, a, a commune of socialists, or or a compound of fascists. What's what Chardier calls panarchy? Oh, is that what he? Different types of yeah, and and that and that's important too because you know you 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 can have a certain collection of anarchists that are like, okay, so we're cool with corporations here. We have corporations in our little community here. Whereas there would be another one where it says like, okay, well, we think corporations are bullshit. They're eventually going to find some way to trade. This is what we're because talking about, voluntarism. That's why it's yeah. like, voluntarism transcends all right. this Exactly. Stuff, right? exactly. Fundamentally, yeah. you get the idea that we're going to uh, engage in commerce uh, with, and we're going to do it voluntarily and we can even do that with people that we don't exactly agree with or, or who aren't organized in the same way as, you know. See, I think the, but I've always thought volunteerism, volunteerist was libertarian. That's where I get tripped up. Kind of are, is I always right? thought yes, voluntarist was really libertarian. Well, I think bottom line is we're talking about voluntarism, I mean, rather libertarianism is a broader term. Okay, I you just know, right. always thought and, of this voluntarist. And voluntarism is, yeah. the wonderful thing about voluntarism is it's, uh, fairly tight. Uh, I'm, specific. I'm yeah, under the impression right. that libertarians still want a centralized government. Which big ones? L. Big, libertarians. Big L. Libertarians. There's no, two. Yeah, big yeah. L. Be there's, the minarchist side of libertarianism. Yeah. yeah like, yeah, there Chris was a time where it was right, common right. knowledge that, like, libertarian and anarchist are basically synonyms, but mm -hmm. there are differences. Like, a minarchist, like you're saying, like, that, yeah, like, that can be that kind of a libertarian, too. But You've got big L. Libertarianism exactly. with, with his, which is, um, let's play the game and we're going to play the game or a small L libertarianism is just it's a way of life and it's and it's more towards voluntarism that's what I always thought it mm -hmm. to be yeah. I agreed yeah. my point yeah. 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 Well. it's about that well <laughs> 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 so, you're jumping the gun here. You're totally jumping the gun. Okay, so, so what, what I want to know is, 
to, you know, to kind of like integrate these and not have it drop like a brick on a piano or something. Um, yeah, <laughs> clang from the second story. Um, so if there are right libertarians and there are left libertarians, if there were to be a robot that you could like say, you know, have it's some sort of, sort, yeah, some sort of like, middle. you know, inter intercourse with, yeah. would both left it's libertarians and right sides. libertarians be okay with that concept? Of, of, of having, you know, maybe sexual relations with a, uh... I would think so. I, okay, I, all right. I would think so. Okay, so, so, so we are agreeing with, like, both sides so would be okay with that? How, how hot is the robot? So this would be, like, yeah, well, that's a red, white, and blue Oreo, something like that? <laughs> oh, no, no. <laughs> On that note, a red, white, blue Oreo, have a good night. God, God bless America and all that shit, right? See you yeah, next week. God. Good night.